Hello, I'm James Cromwell with People for the Ethical Treatment of Animals. The images you are about to see were shot on a pig farm in North Carolina, the second largest pig producing state in the country. Here, farm workers are attempting to remove a lame sow. They know she can't walk, and her legs are caught in the bars of the surrounding pens. They beat her, dance and spit on her, and kick her in the face for nearly an hour. At the end, even though there is a captive bolt gun available, one of the workers chooses instead to partially slit the sow's throat first, leaving her to suffer for more than 15 minutes. She breathes, lifts her head, blinks, and from time to time moans before she is killed. This scene documents typical daily beatings. These pregnant sows will be bred for several years until they become lame or unable to reproduce anymore. And then they will be killed. Here, two sows are confined together in one small crate overnight. A farm worker approaches the sows and penetrates one of them with a pole, twice. As he does this, he describes a similar incident from the day before, when another worker shoved a pole into the anus of one of the boars. To avoid the work of loading lame or spent sows onto the cull truck, sows are either beaten to death and incinerated on the property, or left to starve to death in a cull pen. This lame sow is suffering from a broken shoulder. Her piglets were taken from her just days before this incident. She is forced to walk to the incinerator where a farm manager beats her with a metal pole. In his truck, just yards away, this man has a captive bolt gun. But instead of using it, he chooses to bludgeon the pig before incinerating her. This lame sow is forced to drag herself outside where she is pursued by farm workers. She is then shot with a captive bolt gun. Without first checking for vital signs, and as the sow thrashes, a worker crushes her head with a cinder block. Here, a sow has lost the use of her back legs.
One of the farm managers beats her with a pipe wrench. When the pig does not die right away, another worker bludgeons the sow again. Experts who viewed this tape confirm that she is still conscious when the skinning process begins. I want one damn loin. That's all he wants. One loin out of the tape. The tool used to skin the sow is the size of an exacto knife, making the entire process long and inefficient. But I still want some ribs though. According to experts, signs of life include vocalization, blinking, breathing, head and leg movement, all of which you see for many minutes while this sow is being skinned and dismembered. In recent years, the emergence of factory farms like this one has meant bad news for pigs. A decrease in the number of producers translates into an increase in abuses at all levels of hog farm production, from breeding farms to transportation to slaughterhouses. A sobering fact, the largest U.S. slaughterhouses kill one pig every three seconds. Such an accelerated speed means that millions of animals have their throats slit or are dropped into scalding tanks while they are still conscious. Pigs are sensitive, intelligent animals. If you are moved at all by this film, please do your part. Stop eating pigs. The world will be a better place for all of us. Thank you. <laughs>